Let's make this dance party a little bit more interesting. I'm going to have one of my characters do cartwheels. For this, I'm going to be editing my orange character. Let me start by removing the blocks that I don't think I'll be needing anymore. I'll isolate those. I'll remove these to the side. And I will keep the arrow to the right side. After my character moves a few steps to the right, I wanted to do a cartwheel. Now the challenge here is that I don't know how many units do I need to make a full cartwheel. So let me go ahead and isolate the cartwheel icon and I'll keep clicking on it and I'll count as I click to figure out how many clicks or how many steps or units do I need to do a full cartwheel. And as it turns out, the number is 12. So let me plug this in. I'll type 12. And let's test that. Perfect, so now I have a full cartwheel. Let me pause here for a second and share with you an important programming tip. A lot of bugs that we find in programs are usually a result of the programmer or the developer making an assumption. I could have easily here made an assumption that the number one means do a full cartwheel, one full cartwheel. But my assumption would have been completely wrong as you just saw. The right approach here was to go ahead and test this assumption and verify and validate whether my assumption was correct or not. So one tip to take away from this and reinforce with your kids is that when you're programming, always test your assumptions to avoid having bugs in your programs. Perfect, so now I can plug this into my program and instead of going all the way to the end of the stage, I want to have my character move a few steps before it does a cartwheel. So let's say I'm going to move five steps and then the cartwheel. After the cartwheel, I want my character to continue to the right-hand side of the stage. And let's say it's going to move five steps before it does another cartwheel. And here, of course, it's going to be 12 again to do a full cartwheel. And let me actually get rid of this block of code because I will not be using it anymore. So now we have a total of 10 steps that my character is going to do from the left to the right. As we know from the previous program, the full length of the stage is 13. So I'm going to plug in three more steps to have my character reach the end of the stage. So I'll go ahead and add the right hand side arrow. Add the number three. And with that, my character would have reached the end of the stage on the right hand side. After that, of course, I wanted to go back left. So I'm going to add an arrow to the left. And let's say we'll have it move five steps to the left. And this time it will do one cartwheel only before it carries on to the end of the stage on the left hand side. So the cartwheel, as we know by now, it's 12 units. And then after that, I want my character to carry on for seven more steps. So let me plug that in. And of course, I want this program to keep going on and on infinitely, so I will close it with the infinite loop. Now let me go ahead and test the program of my character. I'll click the green flag. And, whoops, it looks like I made a mistake. Here's another tip for you. Always, always, always test your programs. See here, obviously, I made a mistake. And if I hadn't tested what I programmed for this character, I just assumed that I did the right thing and I ended up running the program. Obviously, I would have had another bug or another problem with my program. So another tip for you that you also want to be reinforcing with your kids is test as much as possible. Unless you're a million percent sure that you're doing the correct thing, which is almost never the case with programmers and developers, always test your program. So do you know what the mistake here is? Do you know what I did wrong? If you guessed that the last arrow should be to the left instead of right, you're absolutely correct. So let me go ahead and fix this. I'm going to remove the last arrow. I'm going to replace it with a left side arrow. And to reach the end of the stage, I'm going to need another seven steps. So five steps, cartwheel, another seven steps. That will make it 13 in total. So I'll reset the program and let's test it again. Going right, doing a cartwheel, carry on right, another cartwheel, right, go back, cartwheel, and all the way to the end of the stage. Perfect. 
Now I am ready to test my program. So let's go into full screen mode. I'll click on the green flag. And here we go. <laughs> Look at our characters. Moving around, dancing around, jumping around, doing cartwheels, having so much fun. So in this video, we learned a couple new movements for our characters. And we also learned two important concepts in programming. The first concept is always test your assumptions. The second concept is always test your program. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon in another video.